welcome to this class we will be doing a brief introduction of this course principles of economics one now in this first lecture we'll be looking at the nature and scope of economics okay and it is very very important you understand it if you must do anything around the economics one the knowledge of economics is useful for everyone individual household business units institutions as you know as well as government economies to keep it simple economies can be defined I and mean, you have the definitions in in different textbooks you know including the one prescribed for this course now but economies can be defined as the social science that deals with production distribution and consumption of goods and services the nature and scope of economics depends on the interaction of economic agents and how economy works when we say economies in this context is, is like say countries okay now the nature of economies deals with the question whether economies falls into the category of science or arts different economies have given their argument in favor of science why others have given their definition or their argument in favor of arts okay so we have science and ask debate. Now let's take up the issue of economics being a science. Science deals basically with systematic studies that signif signifies the cost and effect relationship. Somebody is having malaria or, or having fever and then science decides to study what is causing this fever. Could it be malaria causing this or something else? So there is this scientific method of studying. Now, these attributes of science, if you consider these attributes, economics can be considered as a science. However, economics is treated as a social science, giving the following features. Number one, it involves systematic collection of facts and figures, which is what science does. They collect facts and figures. Like in sciences too, it is based on the formulation of theories and laws. In economics, we have our theories, we have our laws that have been proved over time. Now, it also deals with the cost and effect relationship. So this point validates the nature of economics as um, science. Just as in science, various economic theories are also based on logical reasoning. Okay? Now, let's look at the issue of economics as a science, as art. Now, it is said that knowledge is science. Action is art. Now, economic theories are used to solve various economic problems in the society. Thus, it can be inferred, it can be, um, I mean, um, it, it can be inferred that beside being a social science, economics is also an art. It is it, it, like playing an act to solve a problem. Okay, now when we look at the scope of economies, economies use different economic theories to solve various problems in the society. Its applicability are very, very wide, ranging from effects on small organizations to multinational firms. Economic laws come into play. Okay, and the scope of economies, you know, looks at economies under two major headings the microeconomics and the macroeconomics okay now microeconomics examines individual economic activities industry and their interaction how individuals economic activities interact with industry the individual is supplying labor the industry is supplying the product the individual is paid wage the individual pays to get the the, the product so that interaction gives us you know, a, 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 a small view of um, what happens in macroeconomics. Ma microeconomics studies the economics of individual or company. Okay. Now, but macroeconomics looks at an economy as a whole, like a country, like a region. It explains the broad aggregate and their interaction from top to bottom. Okay, so these are basically what we consider in terms of a macroeconomics. 
and that is where we are going to stop our discussion for this class hoping you will join us in the next class thank you very much